Welcome back everybody. Now today I've got two toasters I'm comparing. One of them over 300 bucks named by Good Housekeeping as the best smart toaster of 2022. The other one, the number one selling toaster on Amazon. I paid 30 bucks for this one. Let's see how they compare in today's video. Before I get started, let's take a look back at the unboxing and see how that went. This is the Revolution Toaster. I paid $314 for this. Good housekeeping rated this is the number one smart toaster for 2022. The claims are that it toasts 35% faster than Leading's premium toasters. Sears bread without drying, intuitive touchscreen, countdown chimes when toast is done. Well, it's like a, a book in here. All right, here we go, very sleek looking. Now people who liked it, some people were amazed by the high-tech touch screen. Others liked the design and the functionality. Now, people who didn't like it, some said the toast was burnt or uneven. Some said it was not deep enough for rye bread or other large breads. All right, here's the uh, Elite Gourmet Toaster. I paid $29.9 for this, although I've seen it as high as $44. Bucks. It's currently the number one rated toaster on Amazon. The claims are that it has two long slots that can hold up to four slices of bread, six shade settings, self-centering guides easily to centers for the toast for better heat distribution, remains cool to touch during use. People who liked it loved the wide design, said it can hold a lot of breads that other toasters can't. Some people said it toasts evenly on both sides. Now those who didn't like it, some people said the biggest complaint I've seen is that it ejects the toast out on the counter or even the floor. Some said it makes toast unevenly. All right, so the Elite Gourmet doesn't have any instructions, but the Revolution Toaster did, so I went over these last night. So let's go over the functions and the features and see how they look. All right, so looking at the front of the toaster, it's a very attractive looking toaster here. And it's all just a touch screen. There's no other controls. It defaults to bread, fresh, and number four, but you can select the different shades and it shows you about what the toast is supposed to look like. So I guess what I'll be doing is comparing that to how they actually turns out. So they have frozen, reheat. Over here is a bagel feature, waffles, pastries, English muffins, back to bread. There's even a little gear here for some, uh, some other functions. So this seems to be kind of a screensaver. It just goes to this logo when it's not being used, but you just tap on it, it seems like, and it comes back on. There it is. All right, I've got two pieces of just generic Wonder White Bread. I'm gonna put it all the way down on number one, which is supposed to look like this. We shall see if number one turns out like that. Start button, be impressed. Oh, it does lower it by itself. I like that feature. All right, so for on power level one, I don't really expect much. It's not gonna be very dark, but let's at least get a baseline and see if it compares to the picture they show and see how accurate that is. Ooh, it played a nice little chime and raised it very slowly by itself. That's a very nice feature. All right, so let's see what we got here. I would say it's lightly toasted, not totally even though. I mean, the one side seems a little bit darker than the other. How about this one? This one seems a little bit better. It's not. It's not the best even toast I've ever seen, but not too bad. Let's compare it to the picture now. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of in the, in the ballpark there of what number one's supposed to look like. I also liked how there was that cool countdown when it was actually getting within 10 seconds to start showing you a countdown. It's kind of nice, actually. I would say the first round on the Smart Toaster, it didn't blow me away, but it wasn't too bad, actually. It was right in the realm of what level one should be, but it wasn't totally even. Let's try the Elite Gourmet and see how that does. And what I like about the Elite Gourmet is it has big slots here. I mean, you could really put two on each side. But we're just going to go one on each side for right now and see how that goes. So I'm going to put this all the way over to one and press the lever. The buttons look a nice shade of red when they're lit up. That's kind of nice. It is heating up. Looks like a toaster. I'll be interested how this one pops up because people in the comments are complaining that it actually ejects completely out of the unit. On number one, it really shouldn't be in here very long. So it should be any second now. I can see it's browning in there, but it hasn't popped up yet. And this is on number one. There it goes. Hey, it didn't fly out of the unit, but it was way too dark for number. This is number one. Look at this. That, is, that should be more like, what, three or four? It really isn't that bad, but it's just a lot darker than number one should be. All right, so toaster level one, I think was interesting for the first round. It looks like the Revolution toaster was more what I would expect. It wasn't completely even, but the Elite Gourmet was way darker than you would expect for power level one. Let's try power number two and see how that goes. Loading the bread in the toaster. Two, fresh bread. Hit the start button and... 
Very cool. And on the front of the unit, you can see it's counting down those dots. When it gets within 10 seconds, I think it starts showing the time on there. Oh, here we go. The countdown begins. And... Oh, that is pretty cool, actually. Let's see what we got. It seems a little bit better on one side than the other. Not terrible, let's see. This is power level two. And does it look like the toast on the screen? Kind of? It's pretty close, actually. I'm gonna say it's, it's close to level two. All right, time for the Elite Gourmet. We're gonna go power level number two. There it goes. And we're off. We shall see how this goes. Hopefully it looks um, closer to level two than the level one did. All right, I can already tell you it's getting kind of smoky in here at level two. What is this? Oh, come on now, look at this. This is supposed to be level two. What is this? This is like level five. Come on now. There's no way that's level two. There's nothing elite about that level two being that dark. That's not elite. That is not elite toast. I think I'm gonna go check out the Amazon comments to see if others are having the same problem I'm having. So let me come back and let you know how that goes. All right, so as it turns out, this is not a defective unit. There's a lot of people on Amazon complaining about the same thing. Their toast is just burning no matter how low of a level it is. I mean, level one was acceptable, but level two is already getting burnt. I'm not sure if this is really a safe toaster. I mean, unless you just keep it on level one, you still can't get that light. Not an elite toaster in my opinion, but let's keep going. All right, we're gonna go bread, level three start button and I would say so far there's not much of a competition between the revolution and the elite gourmet the elite gourmet is way too dark out of the gate I don't know what it's gonna happen as I get darker than that I don't know if it's gonna be safe the revolution toaster is much more closely aligned to what you would expect but let's see how level three goes it could probably just make mediocre toast and I'd still be happy with it because the geek factor is so high on this one but let's see how number three looks all right, let's compare it to the front of the toaster. That's what they're showing for level three bread. I would say it's pretty close. I would say the backside's not quite as impressive, but I would say the doneness is what I would expect. I, I think they did a good job with that. All right, let's look at the Elite Gourmet. We got, I got a level three here and we're off. It's going. I just don't like how dark the first two rounds were. If, the, if this one's even darker than that, that's about as dark as I want to try it. I'm still waiting for it to pop up. It's already starting to smell like a little bit like burnt toast in here. We've got smoke coming out of the toaster. Oh, come on, look at this. That's supposed to be number three, it's smoking. Get out of here. Wow, it smells like burnt toast. Look at this, that's number three, get out of here, come on. Really elite gourmet, that's number three, huh? You know what, that's it, I'm, I'm calling it, I'm th waving the white flag on the elite gourmet already. And the view's not even over yet and it's already done, forget it. There is something seriously wrong with this toaster and not just mine, it's not a defective unit because other people are having the same problems. The elite gourmet burns toast from level two onward. That is not a good toaster. I don't know how it got to be the number one toaster on Amazon. This is a piece of junk, as far as I'm concerned, that's why I said it, it's a piece of junk. The $10 mainstays I got from Walmart that I did my cheap toaster comparison is better than this one. I don't know why it was the number one bestseller. It should not be the number one bestseller. Get it out of here. That ends the Elite Gourmet portion of this video. So by default, the Revolution Toaster already wins the comparison, but I wanna see how the rest of the levels go. Let me go through the rest of the levels for this real quickly, see how they all compare. Bread, power level four, start. Oh, I, I really do like that. Does it look like the pitcher? Kind of. Level five. There it goes. All right, we're getting kind of dark here, but that's a, kind of close to what it shows. Maybe a little bit darker. That's what they show. That's what I got. It's pretty close. There you go. Level six. It should be nice and dark. See you in a few minutes. All right, you've got 10 seconds left. A little bit of smoke was coming out of here, but we are on level six, so let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's pretty dark. Just set the fire alarm off. 
All right, here are the final results of the toasters. The Revolution toaster, one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't do seven because I had to turn the smoke alarms off for number six. The Elite Gourmet, anything but Elite, levels one, two, and three. It goes up to six, but this is already kind of on the burnt side. So clearly the Revolution toaster is the better of the two. May not be the best toaster ever, but it certainly delivers pretty consistent results. Much more aligned with what you would expect than this. So I'm pretty sure the Elite Gourmet, I don't return many products, but this one deserves a return. I don't know if I should return it or call a hazmat team to get rid of it, but it's out of here. I'm not keeping it. All right, before I wrap this thing up, let me try a couple more things in the Revolution Toaster because I'm done with the Elite Gourmet, but let's try some frozen waffles and see how they turn out. I've got a couple of Eggos. Waffle, frozen, four. And there they go. You can see how slow the countdown's going. It's only right here, so it's good. Gonna take a bit for these waffles, but they are frozen, so we shall see. So these dots right here have to work their way all the way around to get to the top, where we are right here so far. Okay, that looks about what I expected. Not totally even, I'm gonna be honest, not completely even on that. This one's a little bit browner. So there's what I've got. There's what they showed, which I don't think it's really that far off. I would say uh, they did pretty good on that. All right, the waffles turned out pretty well. Let's see how some bagels work and then wrap this thing up. I got a bagel in here. I got the bagel setting. I've got it on fresh and I got four. So let's hit it and see what happens. There they go. You can see the dots going around the circle much faster on the bagel option than the wa waffles, obviously because the waffles were frozen, but that's a pretty good indicator of the, the time. My big question was whether it would fit bagels or not, but it didn't seem to have a problem with those. Here we go. All right, they look pretty nice. Uh, once again, a little bit uneven. This side's a little bit overcooked, but overall, I think it's uh, within the range of number four. All right, let's talk about these two toasters for a minute here. Now, the Elite Gourmet, I'm totally disappointed in. You have to wonder how a toaster like that could be the number one rated toaster on Amazon. There's a couple of explanations for it. One is that there's several models on there, so maybe people are reviewing different types of models. Some work better than others. It could be that this listing has been updated over the years and there's some old toasters that are still being counted on the ratings. There's a lot of reasons for it, but all I've got to say is the Elite Toaster is not very elite to me. I don't think it belongs in the top 100 toasters on Amazon. A cheap $10 toaster from Walmart is better than that. I didn't even want to try waffles or bagels in there because it would burn toast on number three as it was. So I would almost think it was a defective unit if I hadn't seen so many comments on Amazon echoing the same problems I had with it. So to me, the Elite Gourmet is a total failure. Now, as far as the Revolution toaster goes, I do think that it works pretty well. I really like the LCD panel. I like the countdown. I like how it automatically pulls the toast down. Is it worth 300 bucks? I'm not sure. I think most people are gonna look at that price and move on to something else. Since I have it, I'm gonna enjoy using it. I, it's not the best toaster in the world. I think I've had better luck with other toasters a little bit more even, but the gig factor is so high, it's worthy of place on my counter until I find something better. But if you've tried any of these toasters, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.